What are the recommended solder conditions for reworking MLCCs? When reworking an assembled PCB, the amount of mixed technology on the board adds to the complexity of reworking. Often components are placed close together and different components have different thermal thresholds, including peak temperature, high temperature exposure time, and thermal shock. In general, most SMT components can withstand peak temperature exposure of 220 degrees Celsius for 90 seconds. And although MLCCs have a higher threshold, surrounding components may be damaged as a result of the rework process. One concern when applying heat to a chip capacitor is that the ends of both terminations are heated at the same time in order to prevent thermal cracking. Preheating the rework area minimizes the risk of thermal cracking. Single-sided PCBs can be placed on a circuit board preheater or a hot plate set at 150 degrees Celsius, while double-sided PCBs can be preheated by forced air, with the temperature set between 150 and 175 degrees Celsius, and the air nozzle about 0.25 to 0.5 inches from the solder joint. Though preferred, preheating is not required when using SMT tweezers if the iron temperatures are below 315 degrees Celsius and temperature deviation from one tip to the other is less than 2 degrees Celsius. Solder settings will vary slightly depending on the type of solder used. TDK has an extensive MLCC product offering to meet a wide range of application requirements. Learn more at product.tdk.com.